All right, guys, this is Michael from Super Green Lawn Care. I want to talk to you real quick about winterizer. Do you need it? When do you put it down? What does it do? Let's go. Okay, so just real quick, if you uh, get out here in the lawns at the end of the season, this is pretty typical of what you're going to see. This lawn here has got a nice color to it. You can see some of this fescue. It's got a little bit of fungus issues going on with it. Still got some leftover rust. All right. But then you're going to see stuff like this. You'll see some, some of these uh, leaves will have fallen late into the season. Okay. Now, both of these lawns receive fertilizer side by side, so they look good. But if you're the homeowner, you are going to want to um, pick up your leaves because when they get matted down into your grass uh, going into the end of the year, you'll notice next spring you have spots where that grass that is underneath those leaves won't have received uh, any sunlight and you'll just have dead spots where the grass has died. Okay. So you could tell they don't put as much fertilizer back here as they do up front. This one here needs to pick up the leaves. But here's what I really wanted to show you. So a lawn like this, you can tell it's been getting plenty of nutrients. And then right next door, you look at a lawn like this, you can say, hey, that lawn is much different. So basically, in a nutshell, your winterizer is going to keep your lawn green and healthy going into the cold winter months. Now over here in Northeast Indiana, I like to put our winterizer down in uh, uh, usually the first week of December. Now we have heavy compacted clay soil here. And so anything that you put on it is going to slow absorb no matter what, because that clay is just really, it's just a really dense material. Um, but here you go. Here's Here's the next door neighbor's front yard. Lots of weeds, lots of issues here, okay? But uh, uh, but yeah, air temperature today, we're like 45, 50 degrees, and it's the uh, the 10th of December, Saturday, the 10th of December. Um, so anyways, but yeah, like I say, um, I like to get our winterizer now. I use a 4600. It's a uh, fast release um, urea. Okay, that's all it is. It's, all it has in there is nitrogen. And it's a fast release. But because it's cold and because this grass is going into dormancy, obviously it's not dormant yet. Look at the color. But uh, it's going to slow feed that lawn throughout the next uh, few months. Uh, typically over here on the on the north northeast uh, Indiana, we typically see our first heavy snowfall like the end of january january is a cold month and then it gets uh it gets really cold at the end of the sea the end of january then we get uh, a couple of snows in february and usually one big snowstorm at the end of march or the you know beginning of march right before we get out to put down our winterizer but um as you can see from this lawn to that lawn you could just see right now uh the color differences um but then that that winterizer that we put down is going to slow feed this lawn. It's going to slowly absorb into the soil, into these plants, uh, the rest of the month of December. January, February, it's probably just going to sit there. March, just going to sit there. But that nitrogen is going to be readily available as soon as, as, soon as that, that ground thaws again, as soon as, uh, as soon as we get some, some water content to be absorbed up into the plant. First thing in the spring, in my lawns, when I put down this winterizer, are always the greenest on the block uh, when I put down that winterizer. Again, northeast Indiana, put down that winterizer the, uh, the first week of December. So... Anyways, just wanted to tell you about that. And then another thing a lot of people don't know about is the uh, the snow mold issue. Um, so whenever you have layers of snow and ice, you have a frost layer between the surface of the grass and, and where the snow is melting, the melting point. And it creates this humidity that forms underneath that, 
uh, that snow layer, which makes your lawn very susceptible to snow mold. You'll see snow mold, especially in areas where they have really long grass, where it's matted down and laid down. Uh, it gives it, it just gives it more of a, a surface area for the fungus to feed on. But then also where you pile up a lot of snow and it's got really heavy compaction there, you'll sweep it away. Just like just like we just had piles of leaves out on a lot of these easements here recently, how there it turns the grass yellow. It does the same thing with the snow, except for snow mold actively feeds on your grass and then once it feeds on the grass it'll kill that grass then you have to reseed in those areas or you'll only get like 50 percent of that grass will actually come back to life and then uh, again you know if you don't put down grass seed then you get stuff like this where it just fills up with weeds so winterizer slow feeds your lawn all season long when the ground finally freezes it holds it holds on to those nutrients and then and then when it thaws in March, then it releases. You have the greenest lawn in the spring. And you want your grass to be really healthy and strong and just take off and be really vibrant first thing in the spring. So that way it can outcompete your weeds and grow in really tall and thick. And then uh, the more denser the grass, the more the deeper the root development, the fewer the weeds you'll have because they're naturally competing one against another. They're both green plants. They both like to grow. They both love photosynthesis and nutrients from the ground. But you want that uh, you want that grass to have an accelerated growth in the spring to to crowd out surface space that uh, the weeds would like to take up. So, anyways, hope that all makes sense to you. Hey, let me flip this thing around to finish this video. All right, well, I hope that all made sense to you. Um, I like to make these little informative videos because I have a lot of people ask me this time of year, I'll be out doing their lawns or something and say, hey, what's that? And I have to explain to them, that's my winterizer treatment. That's the most beneficial treatment of the entire season because of the root development that you get. Anyways, any more questions, leave me a comment down below. But uh, I make these videos to be a help to you guys that maybe don't know and are curious what a winterizer does. There's, uh, there's going to be much more scientific videos that you can find on the internet about, you know, how the photosynthesis works, how uh, the urea is a fast release nitrogen that uh, has to get broken down uh, into uh, smaller molecules with water absorbed into the plant, um, like, like a, it creates a fast moving sugar reproduction within the plant. It, it, there's like a whole bunch of different science behind it, right? You know. Um, how amino acids are are built, you know, and you can do you can do a much more comprehensive winterizer too by adding um, like potassium in there as well. But uh, I don't, I just use straight urea nitrogen. I I feel like um, that's what the plant needs, you know. To humans, how humans build bulky, strong muscles is protein, and um, plants the equivalent to plants is nitrogen. So. It just, it needs it. It needs a good heavy feeding. I usually put it down at least a, a pound per thousand here in the fall because like I said, we know we have a long winter season, December, January, February, and two weeks of March that it's gonna, it's going to be um, sl uh, slow feeding in December. And then it's going to be, it's gonna hold the rest of those nutrients because of our clay. And then it's gonna get that, that flush of, the flush of, of food first thing in the spring but anyways i'm a rambler when sometimes when i make these videos i just ramble but i hope that was to help you guys michael bell super green lawn care fort Wayne, indiana yeah i can't speak today you guys have a good day i'm gonna get back to work i'll see you